I am content creator Lana DeRue. I empower women entrepreneurs by sharing natural wellness solutions on my show, Steps to Feel Good Daily with Lana. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Steps to Feel Good Daily with Lana. You are in the right place if you are coming to hear about overcoming grief by using the creative arts with artist Lois Thornhill. Wow, you guys are in for a treat. What a beautiful, amazing woman she is that has overcome such heavy grief in her life, which we will talk about. I will bring her up from the green room and introduce her in just a minute. But as you know, I start with three oils or oils that are going to help us with the topic of the show today. Um, I, I chose vanilla and vanilla is the oil of, of unfolding. And I also chose passion because passion is the oil of finding your own passion. And the third one I chose is green mandarin, which is the oil of full potential. So when you're going into the creative arts, having your full potential, finding your passion and unfolding what needs to come out is such a great gift to us all. And you can find more about me and my services at happyhealing.me. So now I am going to share a little bit about Lois. Lois Thornhill is the owner of Unique, Uniquely Designed by Lois LLC. She is a self-taught artist who creates one-of-a-kind pieces of wearable, mind you, art, and is also a creative cook. Oh my goodness. So let me find Lois and bring her up from the green room. Hi, Lois. Hello. <laughs> I'd like to meet that lady you're talking about. <laughs> she sounds amazing. <laughs> she, she is quite amazing. Um, I'm so, so happy that you are here. So Thank I wanted you. to start the show out by asking, what does daily wellness mean to you? Well, just the fact that I am able to wake up in the morning is a blessing because like as we know, tomorrow is not promised to anyone. And I found that out the hard way. So to me, just opening my eyes and seeing the sunlight and thanking God for another day. Yes, and this is a picture of you and your husband, Matthew, who passed away. It was like, was it two years ago? Yeah. And that, I can't, even, I can't even imagine. We've had many conversations. I remember talking to you in the beginning, and you were like, there is no way that I am going to make it through this. You were quite, uh, quite heartbroken. I mean, not to say that you aren't, because as we know, this never goes away. <laughs> Right. The heartache really never goes away. We just learn to live with it. So um, I wanted to jump right in to our tips, to your tip, to your first tip, which is the steps that you take your share, which is give God my first thoughts of thankfulness when I awake. Now, my question for you was like, how did you manage to do that after losing your husband? Because that's the time when everybody loses their faith. How were you able to keep your faith? Well, like you said, at first it was very, very dark. Um, I moved here to South Carolina and within a couple of months, he got very sick and, and ended up passing away. And we moved here because we wanted to just be on the East Coast closer to our children, but not where there's snow. So I did a lot of research and came up with South Carolina, but we have no family here. I knew no one, had no friends. And because he passed away so quickly after our, I hadn't really adjusted. So I really seriously knew no one. So here I am sitting in the emergency room and waiting for him to come out of surgery. And I had no, absolutely no one. And then when he actually passed, like you said, I really did not think I was going to make it. 
And so you go through, you know, there are all these stages that people talk about as far as grief. I'm a very outgoing person. I'm very artistic. I'm creative. I've never met a stranger. <laughs> that was not me. That was not me. I fell mm -hmm. several times in my home. I didn't even know if I could get up. I mean, it was just such a dark, dark time. And it was about a week before Thanksgiving. And I would say, Matthew, why did you have to leave now? Just before Thanksgiving and Christmas and my birthday, which is New Year's Eve. So I was, I was, I was not only hurt, I was angry. All, all these feelings that were just so confusing. And I thought, my husband was a pastor. He was a minister for 30 years. And I could hear his voice. I could hear him preaching. I could hear him singing. I could see him playing the congas in church. And those are the things that really started to help me to be more positive and come out of that drudgery, that, that negativity, that, that black spot, that black place. And um, yeah, and I, I have do have videos of him on my phone of him preaching. And I would watch those. And I right. would say, oh, no, Matthew, I know what you're saying. And those things encouraged me. And um, they were sad to watch. But at the same time, I would, you know, take those words into my spirit and, and know that, that I had to pull myself up and come out of it. He wouldn't have right. wanted it any other way. No, he would not have. I, I wanted to show What attracted Pardon. him to me, what attracted him mm -hmm. to me was the fact that I was vibrant and outgoing. So how could I be just the opposite of that? Right. You know? That's good. So you didn't, so you didn't allow yourself to be defeated. And exactly. so I'm going to go into, I'm showing some of your art here because it's so beautiful, but um, my share um, was when, when I use the creative power um, when I use the creative power of God, when I add it to mine. So when I take his creative power and I add it to my own, I can do what I consider to be the impossible. So that's kind of what I see happened with you is you took, you took his creative power, you took his love and you pulled that in to your life and into your heart when you were completely devastated. <laughs> right. And look at what you've created. I love, 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 absolutely love these two pictures that you have. Is there, a, you said this was you and a friend? Yes. The two ladies sitting on the blanket. And by the way, that painting is dimensional. There actually is a ringlet of hair coming out from under her hat, the lady on the, um, on the left. And then the blanket is dimensional. It's oh, not wow. yet painted. That's actually fabric. I love doing dimensional work. I don't like just a flat oh, painting. Yeah. Interesting. And what about this one? Is that also dimensional? It is. She has earrings. Yeah. And oh, wow. Did. Yeah. Well, do you also, sell these or are these just for your, is this I just? I do. I do sell them. I did one of a man and I took one of my husband's ties, which was a Jerry Garcia tie. And mm -hmm. I put it on the painting. Oh, and it's, wow. It's, yeah, it's hanging up in a very upscale restaurant here in town. So, and they are for sale. Yeah, all my pieces, pretty much all of them are for sale, except for one. I painted one of Matthew um, on the drums, and that one's really special. I came in uh, second place in a juried event, and that one's not for sale, but all the rest <laughs> of them. So, I see behind you. I see your beautiful jewelry and you're wearing a piece. So I'd like to know how, how did you create that? And then go ahead, go ahead. Cause you, well, you I'm a bling queen in case you never noticed. Like <laughs> Nails, hair. Yeah. yeah I'm, definitely I'm, a bling bling. Queen. Well, I'm a hairstylist. I mean, I've been doing yeah. hair for over 45, um, close to 50 years. Right. I have three salons in New York. But everything that I do has to do with art. So it has to do with balance, color, pleasing to the eye. Even when I cook, everything to me is art. So do not ever ask me to balance your checkbook. <laughs> I don't do that. That part of the brain, whichever it's the left or the right side, I'm not sure. But that part doesn't work. 
Uh -huh. okay. And how do I balance my paycheck? I just make sure there's money in there. <laughs> so as far as how I came up with the design, you know, if you're home alone, if, if you're not married or your husband's at work or the kids are not around and you're getting dressed and you trying to put your necklace on. Now I've got nails. I cannot get a neck. I'll be in the mirror trying to put it and I just say the heck with it. I don't need a necklace. So mm -hmm. one night I was in bed asleep and it was around about three o'clock in the morning and I sat straight up in the bed and I said, oh my gosh, I've got an idea. And I know that God gave me that vision. Mm -hmm. So I got up and I grabbed a paper and pencil and I sketched this, this, this design where I can just put it on and take it off. Oh my gosh. I don't need to worry about this little hook. Okay. And so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is it's how brilliant. It and it looks absolutely amazing. So I wanted to move into your tip because you said self-care should come first. And I think that the way that you made your necklace has to do with self-care. <laughs> Will you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I guess I'm taking care of myself by putting my bling on, I guess. <laughs> I don't, you know, I do. I have a ritual in the morning where I use all my essential oils. I diffuse my oils at night. Um, I put them on the bottom of my feet. Um, I look up a lot of different formulas and I, and I always striving to enlighten people that are going through different things by using the oil. I, I mean, I just love my doTERRA oils. I love them. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of my self-care every single morning, every morning. Right. Yeah. I, I do. I, well, I'm, I'm a fan of intuitively picking oils because we just don't, if we don't, especially if we don't know about them. So I might just, I'll have them out and then I'll just say, what oils do I need today to make me feel better? And it is absolutely yes. intriguing how I pick the oils that are exactly what I'm feeling. And you know, as far as my wearable art, yeah. It really does make you feel good and it gives you self-confidence because first of all, my pieces are all one of a kind. Like you'll never see another one just like this. And I have sold them right off of my body when I'm out in a store. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was at a jazz event and the girl kept pointing to my, my, and I thought she was asking me what time it was. Uh -huh. She was asking me about my bracelet. She ended up buying it. She wrote me a check and I took it off and gave it to her. Oh, wow. Because you yeah. can go back and make it again, right? So yeah, let's see your pieces. Those are pretty. This is um, it's a, it's a, I love working with shells. It's a seashell. Uh huh. I just I love working with shells. I don't know, That's but this awesome. is um, and again, it's the only one. I will not make another one. Um, this is probably one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's well, quite a big piece, and it is made Gorgeous. with chunks of turquoise. That's gorgeous. It's, it's rather expensive, and it's also has a lot of silver in it, and it's it's heavy. But this is something that is going to be the the centerpiece, the vocal point of your whole outfit. Right, right. Something like and this. then you had you have one more behind you, and then I do. Um, I'll do you. this one real quick because my husband was African American. Um, we did a lot of African American uh, events. Uh huh. And um, this one is all natural because it's done with leather, wood, metal, and seashells. There's nothing wow. else in it, so it's all organic. And that it's the awesome. colors of Africa because red is for the blood that was shed, green is for the earth, and black is for the skin. So wow. I, I catered to a lot of African American events. That's and, and because no one else is going to have this. I mean, they're just people fight over them. So, um, so my tip was when you were doing the work you love, you are living in your creative gifts. And I can see all those lovely gifts behind you. I have one more final question for you, which is what is your mission? I believe that, well, the Bible says, and this is, so it's not just my belief, but I, I know what I've read. And it says that Mature women are to empower and enlighten and encourage younger women. And people are just going through so much today, so many different ways, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, every which way. And so I'm affectionately known as Mama Lois. I probably have about 30 or 35 adopted children. <laughs> and they know they can call me at any time 
for advice, for prayer, for whatever. And I really believe that, you know, I have to fulfill that. That's, I know I have to do that. Yes. And I want to add this one little thing that you had, um, had on your Facebook page, which is yes, where I people can, it. yeah, where people can reach you, but basically that you are, you are your art, the, the way that you feel about yourself, the way that you create your art, what you put on your body. Um, you're so elegant. You're so wonderful and so beautiful. And I'm so, so, so proud of you for taking like the most difficult challenge that we all face. I know I lost my boyfriend when I was 26. So I never at the level that you have experienced it, but it's something that is well, a part of our life. Months, let me just tell you that for six months, I could not go in my studio just so that you do know that six months, I would go to yeah. the door. I would look in there and I just would have to turn and I, I could not go in there and, and create anything because Matthew was the president of my fan club. He truly yes. was. So every piece I made, whether it was a painting or a piece of art or in my kitchen, because I love, 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 love to cook. <laughs> and he was my biggest fan. I mean, right. you know, he would come in and say, Oh, that's going to sell right away. And I'd say, but you said that <laughs> was the last one. <laughs> That's so awesome. So thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much. Uh, and, me. Yes. And I'm going to put you down in the green room and then I will come and visit you in just a minute. Okay. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much. much and God bless. Thank you. You too. Yes. Life is never guaranteed. And so I say, keep, somebody said once to me, keep living until you feel alive. So I can see that Lois has done that. And just to remind you, you can reach out to me for a free consultation. Uh, my website is happyhealing.me and I have lots of videos, uh, oil education, uh, any things about body code, emotion code, and soon to be belief code. So please reach out to me and have a great day. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> there we go. The media network, you and wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, technical difficulties. More about my services and products at me. Make sure to join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts.